So I took apart the three boom crane. I kept the base and the, and the boom and the swivel base and one of the one windlasses. I added a second windlass and, a, and this vessel plate to come up with this. Uh, there's no name for it because it doesn't exist in the real world. Normally, the boom would attach to the base with one pivot point. Here we got two pivot points. Now this isn't more efficient, it's just different because I was trying to come up with some interesting looking crane. So, remember torque is weight times distance. So the crane weighs 29 and a half pounds. The center of gravity is here, eight inches from the pivot point. Weight times distance, you get 236 inch pounds. Now the, the, the uh, load, remember we measure from the middle center of gravity of the load to the pivot point. So we got 4.7 pounds times 34 inches. So that's the torque of the load. And what about the boom? The whole boom weighs about five pounds. But we're only looking at everything on this side of the pivot point. So that's about three pounds for the boom. The center of gravity of the boom is here. So that's our distance, 22 inches. So when we run the numbers, 236 inch pounds of torque for the crane. There's the boom, which is 66, and the load is 160. So the total of 226 is just a little bit less than 236, which is why, even with the load way out here, it's not tipping over. But almost, with just a little bit of effort, the whole thing will tip over. That's why there's the safety factor. Okay, now I'm going to boom up a little and we'll run some more numbers.